I have downloaded IoT Got uh, virtual machine already. So to after you download that, you click on create a new virtual machine and then customs custom and 16 that's all right from here I'll install the operating system later click on that Linux here you have to make sure you choose this one here other Linux 2.6 X kernel 32 bit that one and click next you can change the name I will change that to IOT got and that looks all right click next next everything default and then we'll use the internet so we'll say net network click next recommended settings click next next and then from here this is important use an existing virtual disk that's what we'll be selecting don't create a new virtual disk click next and then choose your IoT got uh, IoT got file VMDK file and then select next keep existing format and then so after a few minutes let's start in this screen what we can do click enter a few times press enter and there we go IoT got is running at last after a couple of tries so this is how you install IoT got on a virtual machine if you do if config on IoT got I never see I can't screw up I, I don't see IP addresses what you can do is go to Kali and run Wireshark and then say for example we run Wireshark we got say for example you know if config and some kind of activity and you can stop that packet so you can see that packet passing through through this um, IP address 192.168.111.130 what you can do is ping ping from Kali say uh, ping 192.168.111.130 let's ping it there we go we are pinging that IP address okay that's good we can stop that and what's my Kali IP address looks like 131 let's ping from IoT got like to my Kali so ping ping 192.168 dot what was it um, 111130 okay 111 111.131 I guess so there we go receiving packet so successfully ping we can cancel that and go back to Kali and see what's the if config what's the IP address here yes as you can see uh, so Kali, this is Kali, and the other one is 130 is for IoT code. So what you can do, you can start hacking to your IoT code machine. So once you get that IP address, you can type that in here: 130. Oh no, 192.168.111.130. Type that in, and there we go let's say username and password you need to find out what the password is and i'm not gonna do that on this video and this is where you can download the iot code file so there are different downloads so i downloaded this one here because i'm using vmware workstation if you want to use um, uh, 
Oracle VirtualBox for that one here and other Raspberry Pi images as well so yeah go ahead download this for workstation and installation guide watch it hopefully you like it uh, give me a comment uh, you like it or not or if you want to see further more videos how I get this um, I already got password let me know on the comment down below I'll make another video on that thanks for watching bye